Hello everybody, this is Michael Peterson and uh, I get asked the question sometimes, how did I become a professional artist? And usually that leads also into the question of how did I come up with the idea of painted layered glass sculptures? Well, let me try to answer this in a fairly short manner because it's a pretty long and involved process. First of all, my talent in art was discovered when I was in grade school. Specifically, it was noticed in the fifth grade. And uh, during junior high school and high school, uh, I continued to develop my art. Now, when I was uh, enrolling in college at BYU, I entered first, I enrolled first as a uh, fine artist. And then as I worked my way through fine art, I noticed graphic design and I loved graphic design. And so I decided I want to check out that. And then as I got into graphic design, I literally happened to stumble across industrial design, which is product design. And I absolutely fell in love with product design. Well, when I graduated from college, I ended up being um, economic downturn. And so I um, took whatever job I could. I took a job as a a uh, graphic designer in an engineering firm for about five years, which can be loosely uh, interpreted as the most boring job in the world as far as graphic design goes. My wife and I um, got married and we moved to Texas and there I got a job as a trade show exhibit designer, which by the way, I ended up loving. I loved it. And uh, so I worked for 34 years as a trade show designer and I did art as a hobby. I did oil painting mostly. And anyway, so I worked at uh, trade show exhibit design, thoroughly enjoyed it. And I went to uh, retire. And uh, when I retired, I decided, well, I gotta do something as a hobby. Let me kind of back up a little bit here. I did uh, oil painting as a hobby for about, well, for most of my adult life. And then I took a 15 year break when, you know, work, kids, and other responsibilities, just literally just, things just got too busy. And then after I retired, I thought, well, I'd take up oil painting as a hobby again. And I got that idea from a time when I was working part-time at a, a hobby store. And the, I worked in the framing department and the framing department was right next to the art department. And so I would spend time, you know, during the slow uh, times, I would spend time going walking up and down the art aisles and thinking to myself, you know, it'd be really cool to get back into oil painting again. And so I ended up uh, getting my equipment and my supplies for my studio from the hobby store I was working at. And I just started doing art as a hobby. Well, after doing it as a hobby for uh, about a year, I was wondering if I had what it took to be a professional artist. I mean, I'd been a professional designer for lots of years. I was wondering if I had what it took to be a professional artist. Well, as I decided I was gonna take a leap to be a professional artist, and at this time I was mostly doing the more traditional paintings. And, uh, you know, I painted mostly on panels or on canvases. And I was, uh, as I was doing paintings, uh, I was just got kind of an itch for three-dimensional design. See, when I was in trade show exhibit design, I grew to love three-dimensional design. And so what I did is I thought, well, maybe I can do three-dimensional design, somehow work some three-dimensionality into my paintings. And so I was doing uh, traditional oil paintings. And I started experimenting with painting on glass and then kind of putting glass in shadow boxes and trying to see if I could make something like that work. Now, as it ended up, um, I kind of liked it, but I stuck mostly with my traditional oil paintings. And then I would go to art shows and try to sell my paintings and everything. And I could keep up with a professional artist and I was holding my own. But the thing was, is that um, it just seemed like, well, let me tell you what happened. When I was driving home from uh, one of my shows, I was driving home, it was at night, and I was kind of, you know, just thinking while I was driving. And I was thinking to myself, what is it about my art that really distinguishes me from my competitors? And another thought that came to my mind is, what is it about my art that makes it really memorable to people after the show? 
And then I thought, what is it about my art that makes it a must have for collectors? And the only answer I could come up with is nothing. There was nothing that would make it really distinctive, make it a must have and make people remember my art after the show. And so I do remember though, in this particular show, I had put together some layered glass that I had painted on and uh, mounted it into some shadow boxes. And so I brought those along with my traditional oil paintings. And I had uh, two of those uh, shadow boxes in the show and they got more attention and more positive reaction than all of my other paintings put together. And I thought, well, maybe painting on glass has something to offer. So I decided maybe I was gonna check this out. And that was in uh, 2019. And so at the last part of 2019 and the first part of 2020, I decided I was gonna check out this idea of painting on layered glass sculptures. Guess what, in, in 2021, that's when the pandemic happened and just about everything was uh, closed down. So I had plenty of time to do my research on how to develop this. And so I spent about eight, nine months, so something like that, uh, trying to develop this idea and experimenting what worked and what did not work with emphasis on what did not work. And finally, after about nine months or so, I came up with the idea and my first concept of a um, painted layered glass sculpture. And what was really interesting is when I first looked at it, I mean, I've been working for nine months trying to figure this out, trying to figure it out what worked. And uh, I was physically and emotionally exhausted when it came to this. And I looked at my first sculpture and I didn't even know if I even liked it. I mean, I'm going, I spent all this time and I didn't even, don't even know if I like this thing. It was this thing that was in my mind for so long and I was working so hard to try to make it a reality and I finally made it a reality and there it was in front of me. I'm going like, I don't know if I like it. Yeah, I stepped away for a couple of days and came back and looked at it and says, you know, it is kind of cool. Well, what was interesting is when I showed it to people, they flipped over it. They loved it. I've never seen anything like this. I, I This is so beautiful. And I'm going like, uh, yeah. Yeah, it is, isn't it? <laughs> and anyway, so I decided this was a good thing. What was interesting is that the people that liked my work became raving fans. My friends loved the work. And even those that were um, total strangers, they would look at my work and say, oh, this is so beautiful. And, uh, and what was interesting is I got um, on online galleries. I, I actually got into my first two galleries that I ever applied for, for with this work. So basically that's in a very much a nutshell. But if you want to check out the story of how it happened in writing, check out my website. It's www.michaelfrankpeterson-artist.com. And that's an S-O-N on the Peterson. And I will have it listed in the description below. And so check them out, see what you think. I hope you like it. And oh, by the way, if you happen to like this video, please do me a favor and uh, click on the subscribe button over there in the corner. And also, would you please give me a good old thumbs up and let me know that you like the video. And uh, I hope you enjoy everything and take care. Have a great day. Bye-bye.